Hey guys, and welcome to another Storm Central. This time I figured I'd take a look at a Star Wars 6 inch Black Series figure? What? I bought one? Yeah, I did. Uh, I bought the GameStop Jump Trooper, Jet Trooper, Rocket Trooper. Um, I think the box even calls them two different names. Of course, the title is the name that is actually the title of the figure. I don't remember it right now. Let's just call them Jet Trooper, Jump Trooper, or Rocket Trooper. I'm going to alternate between those. But yeah, this guy was in Star Wars Rebels. And if memory serves me correctly, he's also in the new EA Star Wars Battlefront 2. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure he is. And they made a 6-inch Black Series figure of them. Uh, now, I bought this mainly because there is no 3 and quarter inch equivalent. Um, typically, if there's a 3 and quarter inch version of a 6-inch figure nowadays, I don't bother with it. But this guy, um, I, I really like the design and I wanted a figure of it. So when I saw it at GameStop, I looked at it and I thought, should I? And I said, yeah, I think I should. And I did. And I actually don't really regret it. It's a pretty nice figure. Uh, it's not anything too special because it is just a Stormtrooper remold. But still, it does all the right things you would expect from a Stormtrooper remold. So for accessories, they decided to finally include a stand for a Black Series figure. And just let me say, this stand is absolutely awful. I don't know what they were thinking, but I hate this stand with a burning passion. Uh, so it doesn't have a peg, despite all of the figures having peg holes in them. Instead, it has this little foot wedge where you wedge the foot. Number one, it doesn't even wedge too good. Number two, you're going to risk like rubbing the paint off of, a, off of a figure's foot if the foot is painted. Like, look at this. It's not... It just doesn't... It just doesn't hold. Let's try with the other foot. It's just so stupid. I hate it. And it's clear. When your line is called Star Wars The Black Series, you might want to make your stand black. What is wrong with you, Hasbro? I hate you. Anyways, uh... <laughs> Let's talk about this figure. Uh, so he comes with an E11. Uh, it's very nicely weathered. Uh, pretty much the same E11 we've been getting for years now, but it's weathered, and I really like that. It looks good. I like it. Uh, he does have the holster. Thank God. So you can't put the E11 in there, and that always works so well with these Black Series figures. Um, so what's new with him? So he has new, very Commander Cody-looking shoulder pads. He has the Imperial logo on this one, and uh, he's got an orange shoulder pad on this one. When I saw these guys in Rebels for the first time, I just saw the orange, and there was a jetpack, and I was thinking, is this Commander Cody as a Stormtrooper? Are they actually going to do this? No, they didn't. Uh, this is actually technically the Commander. The normal trooper just has a white, a white shoulder pad there, and he does not have the orange on the helmet. So this is technically a Commander. Um, you would need to buy two of it, and then, like, swap the shoulder pad, and then rub off the orange to get a normal trooper. Um, but, you know, it's... I, I think I think the commander is a more interesting look, in my opinion. Uh, he does have a new helmet as well, which looks amazing. Uh, if there's one thing that Disney is 100% doing correct with Star Wars, it is really, really cool-looking Stormtrooper helmets. Uh, this guy looks awesome, and I love it. And I really hope we get a 3 and a quarter inch version of it eventually. Uh, but for now, I'm really happy with a 6-inch one. I really do like it. So... The helmet is attached to the jetpack, which is also a brand new piece, and it looks really nice. Kind of gives me some Gundam vibes, just probably because those little notches there. It just looks very Gundam-y to me, but hey, that's just, that's just me and my Gundam brain. Uh, but yeah, it pegs on with just the standard, you know, Sand Trooper backpack peg. And then these are actually also removable. Those just untab, so these are part of the helmet, and then the jetpack can be separated. So I think that I appreciate that. I appreciate that those can be separated. Uh, so how's the articulation on them? I mean, it's pretty standard 6-inch Black Series. Uh, because the helmet sits so low, you don't get too much, but the hinge does do its job. Uh, you do have some tilt, which is nice, and you can move it side to side probably about that much before the tubes don't want to move anymore. So you're getting good range with the head. The shoulder pads, uh, they do move up all the way, but as you can see, it is kind of bending upward. It's kind of folding up there. You can see it's kind of just slightly been unshapen. I don't think that's a proper word, but it is now. You do have a bicep swivel, but as you can see, this little rivet in the bicep armor is moving the shoulder pad. You can see it's kind of doing that, so you might want to be careful there. Uh, the standard uh, Stormtrooper fare that we've had since 2013. This mold has been around since 2013. Uh, it's pretty much just the same thing. It also does have a little bit of uh, gray down there at the boot, which is kind of cool looking, I guess. Uh, pivot, pretty much everything else you would expect. It's a Black Series Stormtrooper, but he's got a new shoulder pad look and a new backpack and helmet. Uh, I really like him. 
if you if you collect black series this is a must have but if you don't collect the black series and you're just kind of like a fan of stormtroopers and things uh, but if you have a few black series i would recommend getting this one i really do like it um do i think the base he comes with is an absolute piece of garbage and a waste of time yes i do uh it's just going straight in the drawer never to be touched ever again uh should he have come with a flight base Yes, he should have. I don't know why he didn't, but he didn't. Uh, <laughs> that would have been really cool if he had a flight base. But, A, it's a, it's an exclusive. What do you expect with an exclusive? Exclusive accessories? Uh, I'm not really, like, too upset. I'm just kind of making... I'm just making a joke out of it. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. There's the 6-inch Black Series, Star Wars, Rebels, Jet Trooper, Jump Trooper, Rocket Trooper. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, have a good day. May the Force be with you. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of Storm Central. I'm sticking with that name. I'm not changing it. We've gotten a lot of recommendations to change it. No, I like it. Storm Central. There we go.